Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So this year is going to be a start of a new series on how to make a please donate game. So you've seen uh, a bunch of YouTubers have been uploading uh, videos about this please donate game. So I will make a series on how to teach you it. So this part will just teach you how to make the stand itself like with the donations and entering everything in. Uh, but it's going to be not like unlimited things like with the scrolling thing because I don't think I know how to do that. So I'll be able to make that uh, like through IDs. So let's make this stand, okay? So first let's just, uh, just whip up something very quick, okay? Because uh, there's uh, th like five main parts to this that you have to name. Anything else can go unnamed, okay? So look, this part of the stand, anchor it. Name this, uh, no, we'll do the naming later, okay? So just make your stand. This base is vital, okay? Then we're gonna uh, go like this, go like that. I don't care if it's a choppy build. Wait, and by the way, there's gonna be no scripts and models until the end of this series, so I'm not gonna give you anything, so you're gonna have to follow along and wait until my next video, part two next week, okay? So we'll build the stand like this, like that, like this, over here, boom, I think that's good. Then you can edit this if you want, but don't edit the main features. Okay, first, uh, this will be, this is not vital, but it's the place where uh, you can see the donations, and then this piece is also vital, okay? So look, we're gonna bring this up, bring this up, okay. Now for the naming. This, we're gonna call this part, we're gonna call it claim, okay? This part, we'll name later. Now, we have to make uh, the, the signs. So just, they're just gonna be parts, okay? But with text labels on it. They're literally just gonna be parts with text labels on it. Okay, listen, follow through with this very carefully, okay? So we're going to insert a surface GUI here, a text label here, okay? Make sure the, uh, let's see, make sure you can see the text, okay good, we have it here. Make the size of the text label 1, 0, 1, 0. Okay, background transparency 1. Text scaled zero or dollars. See, this will just be one of these, okay? Now, watch this part very care carefully. So, ba based on how much of these you are making, okay? Based on how many of these are ma you're making, you are gonna uh, name these, okay? So, let's say I'm making five of these. This is gonna be called slot one. Slot one. This one's will be called slot 2, this one will be called slot 3, this one will be called slot 4, and this one will be called slot 5. Now pay attention to this part. This part will be the sign, okay? Where uh, like you put your text like please donate something like that. You will call that the slot after, uh, after the last one, okay? So see how this is slot 5? Yeah, do this. Okay, no, oh, so this will be slot 6. Anything after that, okay? Now I'm just gonna insert that uh, surface GUI into this. Boom. And then let's just make the base text. Uh, donations are, let's just do, please donate. That will just be the base text, okay? And then we also need one more text label in the claim section. Okay, this one, the, uh, this, this text will say uh, over here, it will say unclaimed, okay? Okay, unclaimed. So we have the stand, okay? Now we have to get to some components and script it. First, select this entire thing, group it, call it stand, okay? And now in the claim section, insert a proximity prompt, okay? Then we're gonna, action text will be claim, uh, uh, let's see, requires time site will be false and object text will be stand. Okay, now let's put some scripting into this. Okay, first script. Oh, and first, before we do the script, let's 
let's have our variables in replicate storage, the remote OS. So there's going to be four of them. Okay, this one will be called a claim. This one will be called, uh, let's see, edit. But like when they're editing the sign. This one will be called error. And then this one will be called owned. Okay? Okay. And now let's script let's script the proximity prompt, okay? So we'll be do script dot parent a triggered connect function player PLR. Then we're gonna do if player dot owned dot value equals equals to false, then Okay, so see how we don't have owned value? We're going to go to server script servers. We're going to call this stats. And let's first quickly add in the stats. So we're going to do game dot players dot player add it connect function player. Then we're going to do a local value equals to instance dot new pool value comma PLR. Then we're going to do value dot value equals to false and then value dot name equals to owned. Boom. Now let's go back to here. So if player dot owned dot value equals equals to false, then player dot owned dot value equals to true. Then we're gonna do script dot parent dot parent dot surface GUI dot text label dot text equals to player dot name dot dot uh, comma is stand like that. So it will uh, be their stand. Then we'll do uh, game dot replicate source dot claim fire client plr. Okay. Then we're gonna do script dot parent dot parent dot parent. Okay. And then we're gonna insert a value into the stand. Uh, just a uh, string value. Okay. And right now for the value, just name it wakant. Okay, so then we'll script dot parent dot value dot value equals to player dot name. So the stand knows that it's owned by it. And then we're gonna do script dot parent dot enabled equals false, which will disable the proximity prompt. And then else, then we're gonna do uh, game that replicate storage dot owned fire client player. This the, the uh, this will uh, spark a warning message to the player that they already own a stand. Okay. Now let's get to more of the, let, now let's go to the server, mm, let's see, no, let's do the GUI first. Screen GUI and uh, starter GUI, okay? Now we're gonna, uh, uh, let's see, now we're gonna go to, let's, we're gonna name this, just name it main, reset and spawn false, ignore gill set true, we're insert the frame, we're gonna insert a frame right here. Okay, then we're gonna size it however we want. Center it. Center it. And then just transparency one. Okay. Oops. I don't know. Okay. Then we're gonna insert a text label right here. Not inside the frame. Go goes here. This will be the warning message. Okay. This will, this will just be the warning message. So then text scaled, uh, text scaled, and then uh, tra uh, and then just make the text nothing. Okay, and then we're gonna have a text button here. It will uh, put it in the corner. Just name it like edit stand. Edit stand and then text scaled and now in this frame we're gonna make this visible again oh no not oh don't make it transparent again do that that was that was a bad call on my end uh insert a text button here put it here uh, let's see okay just put it here you can customize the UI however you want. I'm just doing this in the quickest way possible. And then just put an X on it. X. Okay. And X. Boom. Like that. Okay. And then we're going to insert tech. A uh, note. Not a text button. Then we're going to insert a text box. Okay. And then we're going to inside the text box. We're going to insert a text button. 
Okay? See that text button? Move it next to the text box and put it here. Okay? Uh, let's make it 50 by 50. Text scaled and name this uh, submit. Put the text submit so we'll submit what it is. And then placeholder color 3 will just be black over here. Text scaled. Then we're going to do, uh, let's see, in the text box, then we're going to do uh, placeholder text. Just name it uh, insert ID here. And that will just be the IDs that you can insert. And then this text box, you will just name it uh, let's see, uh, slot one for the slots. So now we have the UI prepared, all of the UI, make this visible false and make the stand visible, uh, this edit stand button visible false because it will only be visible once the player owns a stand, okay? So let's uh, script one more basic thing, which, uh, actually no, wait. I'm gonna, this is gonna be it for today, okay? We're gonna go scripting this entire stand later, uh, next week. Uh, Sunday, same same day, and so let's see if you ch let's see and we'll finish this next time, okay? And then we'll do part three, part four, like how how to make the other components like global leaderboard. Uh, Shalom has donated all of that stuff, okay? So that's the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on those notifications. Bye. Hello.